What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin bringing your week nine NFL 2016 picks. Uh, week eight, I went nine, three, and one with the uh, tie game being between the Rams and the Redskins in London, which um, last week I said, well, another tie game won't happen again, and it happens. So I'm not going to say that because it might happen again with, you know, with my luck this season. But let's quickly get into the picks for this week because I'm, as usual, I do it Sunday morning, three, four hours before the game comes on. There are no games in London, so I'll be able to catch that without having to say, uh, without having to do it on Twitter or whatever. Um, the Thursday night game, didn't get to pick this one, so I'll take an L on that. So I'll start 0-1, but you know I would have went with the Falcons over the Buccaneers. But because I didn't pick, I'll take the L on that one. Um, starting with the 1 o'clock game, Detroit Lions face the Vikings, who have lost their last two. Um, actually, you know, they lost to the Bears. And I thought the defense didn't look as good. The offense is really starting to hamper that defense. Um, the Lions, despite losing last week, I thought I think Stafford's played some amazing football. He's been very underrated. I'm going to go with, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to pick. Because I think the Vikings offense is huge issue. You know, they were able to take care of the ball early on in the season. But, you know, the turnovers, once they start getting turnovers, they're not a team that's going to put up a lot of points on teams. You know, they, they don't turn the ball over. They get. You know, long drives, and, you know, get some points out of it and let that defense play with good field position. I'm going to say, I'm actually going to pick the Lions in this one. That my WTF pick of the week. I'm going to go with the Lions, and this is the one o'clock game. Um, next one o'clock game, the Philadelphia Eagles coming off a really good game against the Cowboys, which I thought they, they had chances to win. They made a lot of mistakes, some drops. Um, they definitely had a chance. You know, you're, you were up double digits against the Cowboys. Probably should have won that game if guys are making more plays out there. Um, you head to New York to play the Giants, New Jersey, and play the Giants. I believe the Giants are coming off a bye. Um, I'm going to go with the Eagles. And before I um, say any more picks, um, the teams with byes are the Patriots, Bengals, Texans, Redskins, Bears, and Cardinals. Um, so there will only be 13 games this week as it was last week. You know, teams are getting all their buys out the way. Uh, next one o'clock game, the New York Jets head to Miami to play the Dolphins. The Jets, you kind of expect them to be a lot better than what they are this season. Fitzpatrick's been terrible. He's had some really bad games. Started out solid. He's had some really bad games. Um, I'm sorry, I can't think of his name. Um. You 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 put in the backup quarterback and he plays even worse. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't play worse, but he ends up getting hurt, which has what forces Fitzpatrick back in the game. I'm still gonna go with the Jets to beat the Dolphins, but it's a divisional game, so who knows how that can go. But I'm gonna go with the Jets in this one. The next game, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars head to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. I have the Chiefs in this one. Five and two, um, pretty good record. You know, the team that over the last few years they've done well in the regular season. You know, um, a lot of people forget they went on what like a ten game winning streak, and this is after Jamal Charles gets hurt, and I believe he's gotten hurt again. I like the Chiefs in this one. Um, next one o'clock game, Dallas Cowboys head to Cleveland to play the Browns. Cowboys all day. I just don't see the Browns really slowing, slowing the um. The Cowboys offense down. And, I, and the Browns suck defensively. Give me the Cowboys. The next game, the Pittsburgh Steelers head to Baltimore to play the Ravens. Um, Steelers' Big Ben being out is, of course, huge. And Baltimore, they haven't beaten good teams. They've lost to all the teams that you could say were. You know, they, they did lose to. Um, well, they lost to all the teams that you think will be a quality opponent. 
This is tough to pick. Um, I'm going to go with the Steelers in this one. Uh, that's tough to pick. Baltimore is healthy. I, I still like the Steel- Steelers. You know, you still got... Um, I don't know, it's tough to think. Like I said, you still got Le'Veon Bell, who had a good week last week. Um, you still got Antonio Brown, the quarterback. Uh, it's a division game. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Steelers. The next game, this is the start of the 4 o'clock games. New Orleans Saints had to San Francisco play the Niners. Give me the Saints. Um, surprised, they, they surprised me about beating Seattle. I like them beating the 49ers. Uh, next game, the Carolina Panthers head to L.A. I'm about to say St. Louis. L.A. to play the Rams. Panthers had a huge win last week. Um, you know, a lot of people don't remember the win because they care more about what Cam said and you know about the ref- the um, officiating and all that. I'm um, about this game. Um, I think the Panthers are going to win this game. Uh, next game, this is the. This is the second to the last of four, um, four o'clock games. The Indianapolis Colts head to Green Bay to play the Packers. Um, Colts disappointment. The Packers have been a disappointment. Aaron Rodgers has been a disappointment. But I do like them to beat the Colts. I do. I like them to beat the Colts. Next game, the Tennessee Titans head to San Diego beat the Chargers. Said this uh, last week. The Chargers. If they don't make these bonehead errors, or you know, they've been giving away a lot of games, they don't make all these, these issues. They should have, they would have a winning record. Um, Titans, I think, have been kind of underrated. You know, under the radar, no one really talks about them. You know, not a big market team. I like the Chargers in this game. And that was the last of the four o'clock game. Um, the Sunday night game, the Denver Broncos head to Oakland and play the Raiders. Um, whoever wins this leads the division, so it's definitely a big game. I like the Broncos in this one. Um, that Raiders offense is going to have a huge test against his Broncos defense. The big issue with the Broncos, how will the offense fare? How will the rushing attack, um, how the passing game, you know, everything offense, how, how will that fare? Because we'll, we'll, we've seen games... Um, the Atlanta game, they really hurt the, the offense. Really hurt that um, defense. You know, weren't able. They weren't able to, to sustain long drives. And then, you know, you gotta give credit to the Atlanta defense, but they weren't able to sustain long drives. And you could see them tire out throughout the game. But um, you know, they won their last game. I, we'll, we'll have to see. But I'm gonna pick the Broncos in this one. I don't. You know, the Raiders have been terrible defensively so I, that'll help out the Broncos offense um and the Monday night game the Buffalo Bills head to Seattle play Seahawks um Russell Wilson's injury knee injury is still a problem um hurt him in the Saints game um you, you know you, you saw him in the Cardinals game he was really wasn't able to run um which is a staple of his game he wasn't able to get out of the pocket as much as he wanted to um you can just see he looked awkward when he was throwing on the run he couldn't outrun defenders could be an issue because it's a big part of his game. Um, we'll have to see how healthy he is in this game. But I'm going to go with Seattle to beat Buffalo. Um, I think the defense can win the game. Yeah. They're not facing Drew Brees. They're, they're, they're not facing Drew Brees. Um, so you don't have to worry about as a prolific of a passing attack from the Bills. I like the Seahawks. But um, that pretty much does it for this week. Like I said, it's only 13 games with six teams having buys. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Your game of the week. Um, if I'm not picking the Carolina game, I would have to say I would definitely. I like the Broncos Raiders game, and I like the Eagles Giants game. I think those are two games that I'm really high on. Um, also, Lions Vikings. Um, with Stafford, the way Stafford's been playing and. You know the Vikings defense, as you know, we saw in the fir- first, down um, the first few weeks, they were really good. Um, you know, of course, lost the last. Well, let's say first five weeks, um, lost the last two. Didn't look really good, but mainly I think it was the offense. So those are three games I could definitely pick. Um, are definitely on my watch list. Watch list. I usually watch all the games, but 
you know, you usually have a few games that, you know, okay, I'm going to watch this game. I like this matchup. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.